Hello, good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am doing great from my end and I want to welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here kindly, remember to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for the returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you. I am here once again to just support Harry and Meghan to protect them and to just be there for them. Because a lot of people are always coming through to just, you know, trash them, especially from the UK media. And that actually hurts me a lot. Now, my people, I am here to share with you something that came from Vanity Fair. And before I do that, my people, let me actually introduce whatever I'm going to talk about it so that I read it from the Vanity Fair. So they are all talking of, despite the British rumors, the Sussexes are looking, not looking for property in the UK. Yeah, that is the old story about Harry and Meghan today. So I like the fact that this is a confirmation. This is a just um, proof that we have always been right because, you know, I have always been supporting Harry in this story, talking of Harry is not looking for any property in the UK. Harry has never showed any interest in looking for a place in the UK. Simply because whatever they faced while they were in that family was something that no one can actually take it anymore. So we have seen that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex team is being more proactive this year, especially shutting down completely random rumors originating in the UK media. And this was actually a lesson they had to learn the hard way. Simply blanking on every single storyline from the UK led to a communications vacuum in which Sussexes are, Sussexes are on the back foot all, all too often. It's not a matter of issuing statements for every little thing, but their comments. But their community team can offer a simple denial whenever a rumor pops up. And this is one of it. So People Magazine or Vanity Fair gets in touch. And that's what happened this week. And for a while now, Tom Quinn, the royal author, has been saying some crazy things about Harry and Meghan, especially to the Daily Mirror. And one of Tom Quinn's claims was that Harry is homesick and desperate to buy a private home in the UK so he can spend time with his old friends, the same old friends who hate his wife. The Sussexes team just shut down the rumor to Vanity Fair. And that is what makes me feel so much happy today because we are growing so big. I love the fact that Sussexes team, we are coming here to just shut up the rumors that are generating from the UK media. That is something positive and I'm here clapping for each and every one of you because you are part of this. My people, you are part of this team shutting up the rumors. And I know I have been talking of these stories saying that let us not take the negative side. Let us not see as if we are promoting them. But every single day we are talking about the hate. It's all about calling out the same, same hate because they just can't stop doing that. And we also need not to stop in protecting Harry and Meghan. So basically, my people, let me read through this article from Vanity Fair and then you get to understand more of this story. I quote, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, have been without a home base in England since they vacated Frogmo Cottage last summer. Despite rumors that Harry's ongoing legal battle over his security arrangement is a sign that he is interested 
in a more permanent spot in the country where he and Megan both have charitable ties. Vanity Fair can report that Prince Harry is not looking for property in the UK. So Royal Order Tom Quinn sparked speculation on the matter in an interview with the Daily Mirror as he supposed that the California lifestyle might be wearing on Harry. He misses his old Etonian and army friends, many of whom have not visited as they don't get on with Meghan. So that is from Quinn. It was said by Tom Quinn. Harry is determined to find his own permanent home in the UK, which is partly where he is continuing, why he is continuing his legal action to get the British taxpayer to pay for his security. So my people, basically, that is the whole report I told you I'm sharing with you so that you can judge from it. And I know I shared that story recently about Tom Quinn talking of Harry is still looking for the security in the UK so that he gets a place or rather a house to buy in the UK, which my people, it has been rubbished. And I am happy to listen to such kind of things. I'm honestly happy because I feel like this is a win. We are coming in together as a team to call out the speculations and to deny every kind of lies that these people have always been using to just get Harry as someone desperate, you know. That is their main aim. I have noted for the longest time that whatever these people really want to do with Harry is to make him look like he is so desperate for the UK. and. Honestly, Harry is never desperate for this family. Harry himself faced it enough, and I can approve that. Harry is no longer turning back. He is done. He is gone for good. So they better accept it and move on. That is my whole point. And I believe this denial, just as I believe the reporting that Harry and Meghan are happy in Montecito, and they are likely to spend the summer, if not the rest of the year, in California. Harry is not desperate to go back to the UK, but he is made it clear that he would like to visit and have the protection he needs while in UK. He is not going to get that protection anytime soon, though. And that is what is also painful because they are trying by all means to fight him. But anyway, Harry will never give up and let us be here always looking into these stories so that we get to know more of the pending issues and whatever will come out of it all. So that is the whole story. I don't know how you take it. Kindly comment down below in the comment section. Leave your comments on the same. Thank you so much for watching up to this point. Allow me end it here and... Remember to subscribe and like and also share. Thank you so much. Until next time, goodbye.